Welcome to Wise Software's Visual Cam video series. In this video, you will learn how to convert all drawn pads to flashes in your design. Both automatic and select methods will be covered. It is considered good practice to clean up your data before you start any processing, as many commands will require that the pads be flashed. To quickly verify if you have any drawn pads, use the colors bar to make your flash and draw colors different. Here I can see that many of my pads have my draw color, so I know they are drawn pads that need to be converted. You can also use the query item command to verify, and we can see that it is a draw and not a flash. To begin the command to convert these drawn pads, use the tools convert drawn pads commands. The automatic drawn pad conversion requires a paste or solder mask layer with a corresponding top or bottom layer. For example, a mask top or paste top layer requires a top layer to exist. The mask layer must have data on it, but it is not required that the mask data be flashed. The openings on the mask layer are used to look for drawn pads to be converted to flashes. If you do not have any mask layers, use the Select Draws command to convert your drawn pads to flashes. There are also toolbar buttons you can use to begin the process. Here I'm going to use the automatic Convert Drawn Pads command. In the dialog, the control layer is the layer number of the mask layer that corresponds with the top or bottom layer on which you wish to convert pads. Click the down arrow button to select the desired layer, or type a number directly into the box. If the selected control layer is a paste mask layer, the Paste Mask Expansion option will be enabled, which allows you to enter a value by which Paste Mask openings will be oversized. Oversizing the openings may be required, because often Paste Mask openings are smaller than the corresponding pads on the top or bottom layer. Click the Conversion Layers button to specify one or more layers that contain the drawn pads you wish to convert. Specify the maximum size in the X and Y dimensions that a group of draws may be, and still be considered for conversion to a flash. If a group of draws exceeds the maximum size, they will not be converted. The tolerance controls how close the replacement aperture must be in size to the original draws to be considered a valid replacement. If no replacement is found, then an error will be logged. Select the Replace Patterns Rotated 90 Degrees option if you wish to have items of the same shape, which are rotated 90 degrees, also converted. Select the Replace with Custom when no intrinsic aperture is identified option to allow custom apertures to be created and used as replacements when no matching intrinsic aperture types are identified. If this option is not selected, and no appropriate intrinsic replacement aperture is found to replace a drawn pad, then an error is logged. Without selecting this option, automatic drawn pad conversion will only find and convert round, oblong, rectangle, and square shapes. No aperture errors are generated for shapes that are not recognized, and you will need to use the Tools, Convert, Drawn Pads, Select Draws command to convert them. An error is also logged if a mask opening exists, but no drawn data was found in the corresponding location on the conversion layer. Select the Window Control Layer Data option if you want to convert only pads in a specific area. This is useful for designs that have text blocks or other data outside the actual board area, as excluding that extraneous data will speed up the process. Click on the OK button. If you did not select the Window Control Layer Data option, the conversion process begins immediately. If the option was selected, you must select two points to define the area to be processed. The status bar will show you the progress of the conversion process. When the process is complete, a message is displayed. Click on the OK button to continue. If you selected the Window Control Layer Data option, you may select another area to process, or press the Escape key to end the function. Now we will go over the Tools, Convert, Drawn Pads, Select Draws method. 
This command is similar to the automatic mode, but does not require a mask layer to process the data. You first select one occurrence of the drawn pad, and VisualCam will find all identical drawn pads. Once you have selected the data, the Convert Drawn Pad dialog appears. The Calculated Pad Size text box displays information about the selected pads to be converted. Now you need to select one of the three options for the replacement method. Select the Create True Shape Apertures option if you wish to have selected items converted to a standard, intrinsic, or custom aperture with the same appearance. By enabling the Create Only Custom Apertures checkbox, you may restrict the creation of True Shape Apertures to Customs Only. Select the Create Standard Apertures option if you wish to have selected items converted to one aperture of the specified shape and size. Select the shape and size of the aperture you wish to use. If an aperture of that size and shape already exists, it is used. Otherwise, a new aperture is created. Select the Specify Decode option if you wish to have the selected items converted to an existing aperture. Specify the new decode number for the pad created by the conversion. To view the aperture table, where you can create or edit apertures as necessary, click the Edit Apertures button. For this video demonstration, I'm going to use the Create True Shape Apertures option. Select the Replace Patterns Rotated 90 Degrees option if you wish to have items of the same shape, which are rotated 90 degrees, also converted. Select the Use Net Connectivity option if you wish to only convert pads that are on the same net as the example pad that you selected. Select the Include Isolated Items option if you wish to have items that are not part of a net checked for possible conversion. To increase the system's ability to recognize pads that are the same size and account for minor variances in drawn data, you can specify a tolerance value. When you are finished, click the OK button. All occurrences of any matching drawn pads are located, and you are asked to confirm whether to continue. Click on the Yes button. You may select another area to process, or press the Escape key to end the function. This completes the Convert Drawn Pads video in Weiss Software's VisualCam video series.